Mongoose Jake here with a unboxing. And I, what I'm going to do here is unbox this thing. This is actually basically a spit watch shooter. It uses toilet paper, mixes it with water, and it's called the toilet paper blaster. And it literally uses a real roll of toilet paper. A, uh, it has a refillable reservoir. And as far as I can tell, it's spring powered. It says air chamber on the back, but we'll see. I'm going to record this. And then I'm going to go try the thing out for a while, and I'm going to come back and give a, a quick little opinion on it. So let's unbox this thing. Okay, there's some parts, owner's manual. Okay, yeah, this is how it looks when assembled. Hmm, neat. Uh, toilet paper would go here, and water in the reservoir. I was standing there trying to figure out where in the world this thing goes. That is called a jam removal tool. So, save it, um, along with your owner's manual. The owner's manual actually has a uh, jam clearing uh, instructions right here. Too, I have too much light. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, right here, okay, right here is it jam clearing, so for once, actually useful, hang on to that, and save this little piece here, keep it to the side, uh, just wherever you stash all your supplies, but basically, you fill the top part with water, you throw a roll on there, you have to twist and feed it in, into here, and then as you prime back, that is actually how you feed in toilet paper. It would be very hard to show, but there's actually like, it looks like mini flywheels. And you're feeding in the toilet paper, and that's primed back, ready to go. And then, pow. So, let's load this thing up and see how it does. Okay, I wanted to demonstrate this after getting a chance to try a few times. Of course, this is got the hilarious name of it. It's called Toilet Paper Blasters. It's the Skid Shot. I mean, that's hilarious. But uh, what you got to do is just use some cheap, cheapo toilet paper. It does actually make the hilarious mention that two-ply is better. And I get why. As soon as you've fired it, say, a dozen or two times, which is all we've done so far, you uh, will see why it wants thick enough toilet paper. All you do, set your toilet paper roll on there, Take your little uh, rod to lock it in place by twisting. Now, it does mention, get my wife to zoom in with the camera here, it says to roll the first part of the toilet paper thin, like this. And I'm going to come in closer here. You have to feed it in to those little wheels that look like flywheels, almost. You feed it in. Once you got it started there like that, hold it in place and then hit this lever and it will actually pull it in. Now in my small amount of testing, I found that two pulls of that lever is good enough. And then if your toilet paper is loosened up, then go ahead and uh, roll it back up. Now you've got it fed in. The water reservoir is still somewhat full. With both things done, with the toilet paper fed in, water in the reservoir, Prime it back. You will drop some water just like you've seen. But then all you do is take it, and we're going to fire it against the wall. That's a splatter. First shot's always the worst. Prime it again. That's two pulls of the, the feed lever, one pull of the prime bar, and splat. And I'll let her step back so you can get a good view of me firing it. Right here, we'll do. We'll prime it twice, and you will see some leakage, so be prepared for that. Now I'll prime it, and if your toilet paper becomes disconnected, which will happen, again, roll it up to a point, and then feed it in with some a little bit of force, and then pull it in, prime it, fire. Now, that's feed, 
prime, fire. Just hit my shock <laughs> on my mountain bike there. Okay, after a couple little test shots, I'm going to just give a quick opinion, and then I'm going to be a guinea pig so you can get a good last parting shot on the way out. So far, trying it out, the system works great. What it is, is as you, let's go ahead and redo it, as you feed it in, and two pumps has been what I've seen so far as working well. The uh, system pulls the toilet paper in, it drenches it, and compacts it, and then you prime it back, and that's just simply a spring and a plunger tube back there, and then fires. And again, feed it in, prime it back, and fire. It works. It works reliably. And they do suggest thicker toilet paper works better, just for, I guess, a, a good consistency. And the toilet paper would get wet, so I guess heavier wouldn't fall apart as easy. But overall, my opinion is pretty positive. It's $20 well worth spent because I think it'll be a lot of fun for a lot of time. It seems to be very well built of a higher grade of plastic and construction than your typical blaster from, say, Busby Nerf or any others. It feels, you know, very sturdy. Um, closest thing I can compare it to is, say, Boom Cup. But I'm actually going to set it up, prime it, let my wife shoot me so you guys can see a real up close, first hand account of this. So I'm going to hand it to her, let her blast me right in the chest with it. <laughs> but that's that's the uh, that's the toilet paper blasters skin shot. It was again retail for twenty dollars, and I will put a link where you can purchase your own in the description below. But for twenty bucks, it's a lot of fun, and I don't think you can go wrong. This is Mongoose Jake, and I thank you for watching.